Thank you so much, um, uh, dear chair, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's the greatest pleasure to be invited again. Dear Igor, I'm very happy to be uh, again uh, with you on the floor and uh, can you, uh, show you a little bit of our data of the surgical staging in, I think, locally advanced cervical cancer, which is probably the topic of uh, this uh, uh, surgical staging. Uh, FIGO has already decided in their last classification that we have to uh, um, examine the patient and uh, fix the stage uh, which we have to treat afterwards. But uh, we all um, know that other pro very important prognostic factors as tumor size, uh, besides the tumor size and the stage are lymph node metastasis, the uh, relation of the tumor to the adjacent organs. And of course, if the tumor has already provided an intraabdominal spread, which is difficult to, uh, to examine. We do have um, uh, two basic principles. The one principle is a clinical staging according to FIGO stage with a B-manual examination, uh, the kidney sonography and taking a biopsy. In most uh, hospitals, an uh, additional imaging is usually done with a CT of the chest and abdomen and MRI and uh, more and more a PET CT. Of course, this clinical staging combined with the imaging has the advantage to be non-invasive, but uh, we do not get uh, the exact information about the lymph node status, the interabdominal spread again, and the relation to adjacent organs. In contrast, we can do a surgical staging, which has the uh, advantage uh, to get an exact knowledge about the tumor extension. So, uh, we can uh, um, exclude or confirm parotic and pelvic lymph node metastasis. We can remove bulky lymph nodes and can uh, have the maximum impo uh, input about the involvement of bladder and or rectum, of course, with a disadvantage of to be invasive, an invasive procedure. If you go back to the accuracy of the imaging, this is, was one of our very early publications in this field in 2002, showing that the sensitivity for CT and MRI is very poor for the detection of pelvic and pelvic lymph node metastasis. And this was confirmed by others for example, in the um, um, uh, pooled meta-analysis of the ACRIN 6651 and GOG183 intergroup study, also showing a very poor uh, sensitivity of both imaging modalities. And in the just published paper by the French group, uh, uh, analyzing 240 patients with locally advanced cancers, they also found with very modern technique and false negative rate of parotic nodes in uh, 8 to 10 percent. And in cases where you have a positive pelvic uptake, uptake, this rate rises up to 18%, which is, in my opinion, a very high percentage if you consider the cost of the PET uh, uh, Also just published um, a systematic review and meta-analysis um, uh, comparing the surgical and imaging lymph node um, staging uh, found only five out of 65 studies to be adequate to answer this question. I have a little bit of overlapping. I hope you don't have this with the voice. Uh, the sensitivity of the imaging was for pelvic lymph nodes 89%, but the sensitivity for the imaging for parotic lymph nodes was uh, described with only 33 to 62 percent. But in the conclusion, the author stated that there was no difference in progression-free survival and overall survival. And I cannot really believe this because if you have such a low detection rate of parotic lymph node metastasis, which implies modification of your treatment, uh, you should find any difference in the uh, um, um, oncologic outcome. This was altogether the rationale 
for uh, for us to design a randomized study. This was a so-called German uterus 11 study. Again, we know from other um, previously published published uh, mono or multicentric um, data that the surgical staging leads to in a uh, to an upstaging of the tumor in a relevant percentage of patients, but the oncologic benefit was always discussed controver very controversially. The only randomized trial um, uh, provided by um, Taiwanese colleagues in 2003 uh, failed to show a benefit, but included very uh, uh, few number of patients and had considerable problems, especially with the radiation technique. Uh, and this resulted in the fact that there are now different level of recommendation in national and international guidelines, pro and cons surgical staging. Again, the limitations of the imaging are limited uh, as shown in the slides before. Our base, one of our bases for our uh, thesis of the study was this meta-analysis by Gold in um, 2008 published, who separated the patients from the huge GOG studies that introduced chemoradiation into the field of um, uh, um, the treatment of patients with locally advanced cervical cancers, GOG study 85, 120, 165. And they f um, separated the patients that were clinically staged and compared them with patients that were surgical staged primary to chemoradiation. And you could uh, see, you can see that there, there was a nearly 15% difference in overall survival in favor of the patients who underwent surgical staging prior to chemoradiation. And a little uh, bit different, but uh, finally, I think very similar with their message is a just published um, a Spanish multicenter study who analyzed um, the data of more than 600 patient um, who underwent laparoscopic or robotic parotic staging together uh, and uh, um, compared them with 288 patients, not well balanced, but uh, uh, it's a new, uh, huge number, who exclusively underwent PET-CT. They did not find a significant difference in the overall survival and the uh, disease-free survival. But if you uh, look at the uh, rate of patients who underwent extended field therapy, uh, based on the histologic result, there were only 18% 18 of patients who had to undergo this extended field therapy, whereas in the clinical arm, there were 40% really 40% more um, at, um, um, patients with extended field radiotherapy, and probably this balanced the difference in the overall survival and, and disease-free survival. Again, our study was an international prospective randomized multicentric uh, phase three study with the primary endpoint of progression-free survival and the secondary endpoints of overall survival, local control, and acute and late toxicity, and then come back to the primary endpoints uh, uh, in the later slides. Very simple randomization, patients with um, FIGO stage 2B to 4A were randomized either to the clinical arm or to the surgical arm, including the surgical arm, including pelvic and parotid lymph node dissection and all the removal of bulky lymph nodes and all patients underwent uh, uh, primary chemoradiation radiation uh, uh, in a standardized um, fashion and then a uh, follow-up period of um, uh, minimum four years. We could randomize uh, more than 250 patients, and you see uh, eligible patients for analyze are 122, one in the surgical arm and 119 in the uh, clinical arm. Uh, they were very comparable with uh, respect to the age, BMI, and the FIGO stage uh, distribution. The number of removed lymph nodes in the surgical arm was in the pelvis median 19 lymph nodes and in the parotid region median 70 lymph nodes. And you see the uh, metastasis in the pelvic lymph nodes are on average 2.4 and parotid lymph node metastasis occurred in 1.3. 
This is a very short video showing a summer, um, uh, summary of this procedure. Short inspection of the abdomen cavity, taking in the cytology to exclude or confirm and uh, spread parotid lymph node dissection, pelvic lymph node dissection, all lymph nodes removed in endobags. Then a clip marking um, for a um, um, possible boost for the radio oncologist, and then uh, uh, finish the procedure. This uh, and try the, to to send the patient as soon as possible to the uh, uh, colleagues from radio oncology department. Fortunately, nearly all approaches were done by laparoscopic copic and minimal invasive approaches. Um, there was only one conversion to laparotomy due to obesity and severe adhesions. And in two patients, there was a major blood loss of more than 500 cc, but uh, no interoperative morbidity, um, mortality occurred. And uh, the only two patients had a delay the primary chemoidation of four or five days, which is, in my opinion, not really significant. This is was for us really um, exciting that we could really fulfill our statistical hypothesis. In the surgical arm, we could find an upstaging rate of 33%, whereas in the clinical arm, uh, there was a CT punction, guided punction of uh, suspicious lymph nodes in the parotid region allowed from ethical reasons. And this could um, um, lead to an upstaging rate of 8%. So we had more than 20% uh, um, difference in the upstaging rate. The primary chemo radiation in both arms started bet uh, between 7 and 21 days following the surgery or following the diagnosis. Uh, fortunately, the majority of patients underwent very modern uh, radiation techniques with IMRT or 3D radiotherapy. There was no uh, um, treatment-related death during the chemo radiation. And as you can see in the um, um, uh, graphs below, for GI and GU toxicity in both arms, both um, uh, um, um, model, in both arms, the toxicity was mild to moderate and um, mainly um, caused to, due to hematologic um, uh, side effects. So the advantages and disadvantages of the trial there uh, was that this is really the first adequate powered prospective randomized time, trial comparing surgical versus clinical staging. Nearly all uh, patients underwent minimal invasive approach, and we could use uh, exclusively modern radiation techniques. We had a very long-term follow-up of 90 months, and a high data completeness. Uh, only six patients were lost. This, that means 2.5% were lost to follow up. Unfortunately, it was not able to uh, include a PET-CT routinely for all patients because it was not reimbursed in the participating hospitals and countries. And we could not include patients with stage 1B1 according to the old FICO classification because of the discussion that these patients nearly always undergo um, um, surgery, which is not really true. But the most important is, uh, of course, are the oncologic results. Unfortunately, we had to recognize that for the primary uh, endpoint, this was a disease-free survival. The study was negative with a p-value of uh, 0 0.084. But if you consider the cancer-specific survival, there was a significant uh, difference uh, between in favor of the surgical arm and again after a long-term follow-up. However, and this was our own mistake, we did not include the cancer-specific survival into the secondary endpoint, and thus, finally, the study uh, remains negative. Who are the patients who mostly profit, profit from surgical staging? In the subgroup analysis, you see that patients with FIGO stage 2B have a hazard ratio of 0.51 with a p-value of 0.011 in favor of the surgical staging. 
probably these are the patients who are just uh, uh, one step before um, um, metastatic diseases to other organs. And if you treat these patients accordingly, they probably uh, benefit mostly from the surgical staging, but this is in hypothesis. In conclusion, I think the surgical staging done by laparoscopy is a safe um, procedure and does neither delay the primary chemo radiation nor increases the early complication rate of primary chemo radiation. Uh, in this randomized trial, there is a significant cancer-specific survival benefit and a significant benefit for patients with FIGO stage 2b. In fact, for the entire cohort, it is a negative uh, this trial. But what we have to consider, if your patient recurs, the majority of patients recurred as with distant metastasis, so there's an urgent need for a better maintenance therapy following primary chemo radiation in order to reduce the rate of the distant metastasis. And we hope that the ESGO can provide a new study um, uh, which is a um, continuous of the planned LILAC trial that in, can routinely include the PET CT, which would be uh, highly important uh, to answer this question between clinical and imaging uh, uh, staging in patients with locally advanced cancers. Um, Igor probably knows this, this is a river and a, a, a view from, from my running uh, um, um, uh, um, uh, area uh, daily. And sometimes you have to change your opinion and totally uh, um, uh, change the, the direction of your way of thinking and then continues in the opposite uh, uh, direction of the river. Uh, as this container chef has all just done in this uh, short video clip. Thank you so much for inviting me, and I uh, congratulate all the other speakers for their outstanding presentations and fantastic result. Thank you so much, and I hope to uh, see you soon personally, uh, very soon in the uh, uh, nearest future.